Alden Young is a professor of history and director of Africana Studies at Drexel University here in the U.S., and he joins us now from Philadelphia. Alden, great to have you with us. Um, so Sudan's military council is saying that its ruler, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, is going to head this joint transitional council when it's formed. What does that mean? I think that's what um, many of the demonstrators and protesters want to know. Um, I think while everyone agrees that there should be a joint military-civilian council, the, the big debate is over who will have predominance on that council. And, and I think the protesters in Sudan want to make sure that they don't end up in a situation where the military is able to prolong these discussions indefinitely and possibly um, create a new military dictatorship. Why do you think we haven't seen, and I, I know you touched on it a bit there, but if, maybe if you could go into a little bit more detail about why these protesters um, have not accepted the concessions that the transitional council has given so far. I think in, in some ways the protesters entered the negotiations with the military council in good faith. And we have to remember during the protests over Bashir, they asked for the military to take kind of a custodial responsibility and then to cede power to a transitional technocratic government. However, this morning or yesterday when we saw the vice president, the new vice um, head of the military transitional regime, Hamdati, come out and say the protesters should begin dispersing even as negotiations continue. And I think that alarmed the protesters that this is really just a sub subterfuge for, um, for the military to basically remain in power and to avoid a transition to a civilian government. So I think it's basically built on distrust between the two sides. So the people of Sudan have overthrown dictators before. So this is a good opportunity, of course, to take stock of where we are. What are your thoughts on how this current iteration of protests fits into this history? So we've seen before, and I think, um, you know, in 64, we saw something similar. We saw something again in the 1980s, where um, the people have called and done through demonstrations have brought about a military change of power, ending a previous military dictatorship. And then usually that has um, proceeded to have a transitional civilian government and new elections. And so that, I think, is what both sides are banking on, that history. But I think with recent events in the region, um, particularly protesters have been talking about the Egyptian example, there is... Um, there's hesitancy and distrust on the part of the different sides about whether or not um, the Sudanese military will really surrender power as it has often done in the past. Um, and you have to remember, this was a military dictatorship that also has been the longest in Sudan's history, um, almost 30 years. And so there's a great amount of hesitancy on the part of the protesters about whether or not um, a transition, a peaceful transition or willing transition will actually take place. And lately there have been um, rumors or suggestions that some of the Gulf states are also um, pushing the military to not act in good faith. All right, Alden All right. Young uh, from Drexel University in Philadelphia. Appreciate you being with us. Thanks for that.